Good day kids! Welcome back to my channel. Today, our lesson is about subtraction of decimal numbers. If you watch my video about addition of decimal numbers, then subtraction of decimal numbers will be way more easy for you. Okay, let's start. For example, 19.5 minus 2.3. Check if the decimal digits in each of the numbers are equal. Then, line up the numbers vertically so that the decimal points all lie on a vertical line. Subtract the numbers as you would with whole numbers. 5 minus 3 is 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. And bring down 1. After, place the decimal point directly below the decimal point in the addends. Therefore, the difference of 19.5 and 2.3 is 17.2. Next, 275.24 minus 14.1. To subtract, write the numbers in a column and make sure that the decimal points are aligned. Add extra zeros in the place where the length of the decimal numbers is not the same. Then, Subtract the numbers as you would with whole numbers. Finally, copy the decimal point just below the other decimal points. Thus, the answer for 275.24 minus 14.1 is 261.14 another one 94.5 minus 47.29 write one number on top of the other lining up the decimal points vertically again add zeros in the places where the length of the decimal numbers is not the same then subtract as you would with whole numbers 0 minus 9 is no go so we will use partner numbers. Partner of 9 is 1. Add 1 to 0, then the answer is 1. And since we use partner numbers, 5 becomes 4. Then 4 minus 2 is 2. By the way, if you were asking what are partner numbers and how it is used in subtraction, you can check the link on the description box below. Now back to our solution. 4 take away 7 is unreasonable, so let's use partner numbers again. Partner of 7 is 3. Add 3 to 4, the answer is 7. And 9 becomes 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. Lastly, bring the decimal point straight down. As a result, the difference of 94.5 and 47.29 is 47.21. How about if the given is like this? Subtracting decimal from whole number. 26 minus 11.921 In that case, change the whole number into decimal number. This is done by placing a decimal after the whole number and then writing the required number of zeros after the decimal point. For example, the whole number 26 was written in a decimal form as 26.000 Align them vertically, then subtract. Therefore, the answer is 14.079. There you have it! I hope you learned something today. If you like our discussion, please click like and subscribe. Thank you and see you again next time. Bye!